Okay, well... Here we are. I'm just rebuilding because I died multiple times. Um, just trying to get back to my old place, which was nothing, so... I'm gonna build in the middle of these trees, and I'm actually pretty close to uh, some... Uh, I think it's like a radar base or something. So I'm just gonna be nice right above the grass. I don't want the grass coming up through my floor. Um, but this is kind of well hidden. I'm not gonna harvest any of these trees around my house unless I need to make more room. Simply because uh, you harvest those trees, they will not grow back. Uh, that's a good shape there. We're starting out. Some steps. I do already have my sleeping bag made this time, so won't have to go through that again. Oh, I can't afford to place. Okay, so I need more wood already. Thought I had more, but I uh, just got my hatchet made. So I will go uphill to get wood. A smart person would actually take these out first. That way I'm not really getting rid of any of the cover uh, of my house. I'll just take the ones off the ground. I'll get a nice a nice healthy haul. One down there. Don't really mind getting the ones by my house. If they're on the ground, they're not really providing any cover. Actually, that one might be. I think I'll leave that one. I'll take this one, though. There's a lot of resources in the area, so that's good. Good place to build. In the trees. It's cleaning up the forest. Forest fire should be a thing in this game. That should be good for my basic, my basic layout and a couple boxes. So, building plan. There we go. So my stairs are there. Okay. Doorway. Door. Roof. Which I will be doing... I'm going to do two stories here. Because I know I'm going to need them soon enough. can always expand later. Floor. Just like that. My door is now done. My door. Put my door on. I think that is the outside. That's the inside. Which is what I want. Now I need a lock. If I have enough for a lock. For some reason I think you just need wood for a lock. Why? Uh, because they said so. Wood. So more wood. Eighty-seven percent stable. I wonder why that is. Maybe that's just a wood foundation thing. I'll replace everything with stone eventually. So we need... We need wood for a lock.
I should, uh, once I get my lock down, I'll lay my sleeping bag down and maybe if I have enough to build a secondary sleeping bag because it's good to have one stashed outside your house somewhere too. So, put the lock on. Open door, remove lock, lock, create a key. I always create multiple keys. Uh, unlock with key, which does it automatically uh, if you're carrying a key. So I need to slip down my sleeping bag. So I have a respawn point. I need to build a box, put some stuff in. And that is your basic house. Basic, basic. You want to replace everything with stone and then eventually replace everything with uh, um, metal. Okay. What was I doing? I got a text. That's what I was doing there. Got a box. Place a box. And leave some room. Doesn't really need to be pretty, but I like to be, make it pretty. Building is probably my favorite part of this game. But you won't catch me playing Minecraft. I, just, I don't know, the pixelated thing. I just It just looks so stupid. If I'm going to play pixelated, I'm going to play old school. Okay. Oh, I should have a campfire in here. And so I can put stuff away now that I'm not immediately using. I've got uh, this good stuff. Animal fat, bones. Cloth, um, meat I should cook, scrap, I do not know what that's used for yet. Propane tank, I imagine, is for protein. And propane, unless you make a helmet or something silly like that. I say silly, but it's actually kind of cool the way that things are designed in this game. The armor and stuff, armor made out of old road signs, and you know, it's got that kind of post apocalyptic feel to it. I'm going to do this closer to the middle here. Okay. And that is your basic layout. Got my sleeping bag. I want to make another sleeping bag if I can to place outside. So I need cloth and I need to make a secondary sleeping bag if I can. Items. Sleeping bag, what do I need? Wood, of course, because sleeping bags are made of wood. Makes perfect sense. So let's do that. And I will show you a very important thing to build um, after that, which is an airlock system for your house. So that somebody doesn't kill you the second you open your door and you're dead in your open doorway. They would have to get through two doors to get to your house. Okay, let's get this other sleeping bag going. I'm gonna need more wood for the airlock system. Which in retrospect I would have designed it a little differently. I might tear down that the steps right there. It's not gonna protect my walls anymore, but it does protect you from getting killed in your doorway. It's pretty important. I'll take them off the ground if I can. I don't know how far away uh, they they'll respawn. Uh, it seems like an arc, which is I'm so used to playing arc because I played I cracked out on that for a while. Um, so used to playing Ark that it was like 50 like in-game feet from your house. So if you knock a tree down within 50 feet of your house, it will not grow back. And I'm starving. Do I have food? I will eat a pumpkin. And pop some shrooms. Because, you know, you need to have that psychedelic energy. place my emergency bag somewhere. Close, but not too close. In the bushes. This is a nice bushy area. 
right here. I will place down my sleeping bag. I'll hide it inside this bush right here. Pretty damn hard to find. Uh, there is an advantage to be playing uh, with friends in this game. You pretty much will not get far without friends. So a lot of times I will build a house, get everything set up, then invite my friends in to play, and they've already got a base of operations, and then they can go out and raiding, raiding it. But you don't really want to raid on this server because this is kind of a it's kind of a bitch server. Okay, so, uh, airlock systems. So I think I need my, I gotta build one of these to tear things down. Basic hammer for building. Um, I'm gonna build a certain extra door frame um, out here. So people can't run in, you know, and just kill me. They've gotta go through a couple of stages. So, but I gotta get rid of this by right clicking and upgrade to wood no how do I destroy this maybe I just maybe it's a building plan no, I'm, I'm thinking of arc again I think I actually have to freaking destroy this well that was hard oh, it's the stone ones that are hard to get rid of so I'm going to build another foundation here, right here, and in that foundation I will put walls, like here and here, which way do I want to approach the house? I'm going to hide the door a little bit, so I'm going to put it on that side. I will do steps just so it's, it makes it easier to get in and out, uh, even though it's pretty close to the ground. Can I? I can't. So, hopefully this doesn't cause a problem. Sometimes it does, where it's just a pain in the ass to get through your door, and now it's backwards. But I think I can flip that around, so. Wall, here, floor, up there. I gotta jump and do it. Boom. There we go. I'll need another door, another lock. And this is reversible, I think, with this. Yes, rotate. So now the inside is on the inside. You can tell because these cross pieces uh, are the inside, um, uh, where it's more stable that way. And there's two uh, kind of in the corners of the door there, the cross pieces coming out, where they're not coming out there. Okay. Door. Door. And boom. Okay. So now you have an airlock system where you only ever have one open at a time. And I'll create a lock, but it takes two keys. But that'll be upgraded soon enough. Um, speaking of keys, um, I always keep a spare inside. Um, because when you spawn, you'll have a key. Um, but I think that you can always create a key from your own lock, it seems like. I mean, I don't see why not. There we go, and then create a key. Create a key. Keep one inside. This be this one. Like that. There you go, that is your safer setup. You can always have... So if you get killed right here, they still have to make it through the other door. Even though this structure is very, very weak. Someone can bust through here very easily, but hopefully I am... I am uh, hidden well enough. You want to name your sleeping bags for your respawn points, so 
So you got to jump up there now. That kind of mild inconvenience uh, in the build plan. So name sleeping bag to house one, in case I build a second house. And then we'll go name that other sleeping bag outside. Um, if I can find it. I think that's right there. Yes, and rename this one to Outside House 1. There you go. And so the smart thing to do would be to gather stone, upgrade everything to stone, um, which I may or may not do. Um, upgrades are really easy once you have your basic structure. Um, but for now, I uh, start with that, and that's that. So I'm going to log out here, and uh, yeah, the next uh, episode you'll probably see this all upgraded to stone with uh, me and some buddies on. But I don't know if we might play on this server or not, because this server, uh, you know, they'll kick us off for raiding, and that's no fun. The point of this game is to really just ruin other people's day. So, there you go. That's it. Have a nice day.